Hey you right guys, Trish Bunch is Joey and today we are watching and reacting to episode 11 of One Tree Hill season 6. Last episode we had Mouth bimbling about being a fool, trying to make excuses for Gigi and Millie and this. <laughs> so can't wait to see more of that one. Uh, we've kind of been lacking in Dan content, I will say that this season. I've been missing him and we had Nathan... Uh, which started off a bit like, oh, okay, we're seeing the ghost of Quinton, but it actually kind of was decent at the end. I felt like the last episode got really good in the second half. Like The, the gig was actually pretty good, uh, and Payton and Lucas's drama was fine, Brooke was good. So, yeah, second half saved the last episode for sure, and we're almost halfway through the season. So, episode 11, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to One Tree Hill, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description, and one of the comments down below where they will be uh like season seven probably like season eight or something <laughs> i'll let you know exactly which episode down below but for now let's do this going through the script actually mm. it always takes me back you know nathan and Haley, my mom's cafe yeah i'll be scared cafe actually never thought i'd say that i'm uh fighting the urge from time to a chair and beating him to death <laughs> nice hey, what's the deal with this dove pendant never seen you wear it nice phone as well lucas oh well, i'll be up right I'll be up riding down and do the bad dude. It's kinda nasty out there. She's right, definitely gonna blow up knucklehead. that. Knucklehead. <laughs> You're the knucklehead. Knucklehead, watch out. Looks are you okay Sam, in the head. Amber nineteen forty one in Casablanca. What the fuck? What's just happened? I've gone back a hundred years. Lady Gaga. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh, he's got the click going on. Don't be one of those quirky apps that's like, oh, what if Lucas was born in 1901? Hey, this just oh, in. my Jim's God. Oh, my God. No. No. Hey, power of the press, Luke. Anything goes. Hey, speaking of which. Power of the press. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. So you had a budget for a season and you've spent it all on this room. Oh, Brooke Davis tonight. You could have just had this room be in Tree Hill. You could help me with both. <laughs> yeah, his laugh never changed 100 years later. Uh, you know I never mix business with pleasure. Just pleasure then. <laughs> this is going to be the whole episode, isn't it? Wow, oh, yes. Mmm. Sure. Nathan's a bar, man. <laughs> oh, God. Chad Michael. Uh, okay, maybe this app's not so bad, you know. Maybe the best step of the season? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> what are you doing here? <sighs> oh. I'm not your anything. <laughs> Paul Johansson's gonna love this. You know he is. Saved you from being in a traveling sideshow, and yet you leave the comic club. <laughs> Karen's Cafe. The comic club. Go back you know what? Final. I decide what's final. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> So well, written by Chad Michael Murray. That makes uh, that makes all the sense in the world. One of these days, someone's gonna stand up to you, Dan. No Scott wonder. Not, one can't wait. <laughs> Who is it directed by? Is it directed by Chad Michael Murray? Break a leg. Oh. Oh, they only told us who it's directed by. The director Ladies wanted to stay hidden. <laughs> Joe DeVolo. De 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 yeah, well. Only at Karen's Cafe. We just had Haley sing last episode. I know a little place in Caroline. It's open year round when you go down to Karen's <laughs> cafe. Yeah, Karen's cafe. Our favorite place in the world. Gee, don't you know that you're in first? Yeah, I'll take Kayla's singing. I can just like close my eyes and imagine it's we're back in Tree Hill. What a dame. <laughs> she gets them every time. What a damn. I think a girl like that. Girl like that and a guy like me out in the boonies. Gonna get your papa to be beep beep. Yeah, why not? Well, because I'm a nobody. Mm. I want to be a basketball player. No problem. 
<laughs> yeah, we do. We're gonna lose it, folks. Oh my god. Dan's like the, the big boss of the town. Well, well, Miss Brooke Davis. Do you have the money you borrowed from me? <laughs> Just the money you borrowed from me. Just, you can tell it's written by Chad Michael Murray then. Do you have the money you borrowed from me? <laughs> can I help you? Wow, Lucas Scott, what a pleasure. <laughs> you know, I actually thought this was my club for a while, considering that's my singer up there. Oh. Yeah, wow. This is wafting a fart away. Give me my girl back, and I'll consider letting you live. Oh. Haley's free to do whatever she wants, and she wants to stay here. Now, you, on the other hand, are free to go. <laughs> 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 Oh, what is going on? Treated with such respect. You said season six was the best season, guys. That's too bad your mom ran off after that horrible accident oh. with Keith. I mean, she mm. was always so hospitable. I think it's time for you to get out of my club. Is that like an olden days your mom joke? Julian? Ah. That's enough for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, you know he hated putting that costume on. Damn, that's a, do I have to do it, guys? Yeah, you need to put on the cop costume. Put it on. Do you want your money? It's a fine, I'll just guess. Just please call away from me really quickly. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, season six is the best season. Uh, ah, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That's all, folks. Around on the house. Uh, where's Deb? I want to see Olden Days Deb. I mean, hey, this singing is probably the, saving me a little bit. Oh, I got a point. Let's put a plus. Haley's just Haley. <laughs> she made a song about Karen's calf. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Is the whole app gonna be saying this one room? Right? Oh, let's have us a dance. Listen, get off. Give me some get sugar. And then I'm done. Ha ha. Sugary enough for you. <laughs> Help. Help. You know, you know, Chad Michael Murray put that line down and jizzed himself. It's like, that's fucking amazing. You know, in that case, maybe you should give him two. The second one's for me. I just got to get into this app on. I got another 30 minutes of this. I just need to shut my mind off and yeah. give us a moment. What if all the One Tree Hill characters are in the 1940s? What would it be like? Your mother made me promise one thing before she died. That I would always look after you. Well, you're doing a great job, Dan. I saw you making eyes at Lucas tonight. <laughs> I was doing nothing of the sort. I know what I saw. Don't make a liar out of me. <laughs> Oh no, no. Oh my god. It's just gonna say. You, I know you only have eyes for me. Oh. Sweet dreams. Ah, alright. That was um, Mark Schwain putting that scene in. Oh, you have a few too many today. Oh, you have a few mouth too many. Go home. Mouth. I'm going places, Luke. I know. Which way am I going? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be great, Luke. I was the best reporter in Tree Hill. Yeah, you used to be a good character. I'm working on At least you're self aware on that one. I'm telling you, no more gossip columns for me. They'll all see me again. He's gonna fall <laughs> over. Yeah. Does anybody see me here? You know, there's one person watching this who's like, this is the best episode they've done. I'm sorry, I had to break your heart. <laughs> God, we're getting the. Are you full Chad Michael Murray this up? She's just down on her luck. Just down on the luck. But a guy like me, I look out for girls like that. Gonna change the world. Oh my lord. She's gonna get shot by a mobster. Taxi? Look, man. I only got two cents in my purse. On second thought, I'll walk. I'll just walk down the alley. I'm not gonna get mugged. Something like that. Oh uh, yeah, the local hobo. Sir. Who is it? Have a good night. I don't know, is that Nathan's uncle or whatever? We didn't really get a close-up, I can tell. Here we go, time to get shot in the street. Classic 1940s. 
I mean, nothing's really changed the way it's shot on the screen in America, so. Because you see, I'm a businessman. So mm. when I make an investment, I expect to see a return on that investment. Oh, uh, we're throwing out our old dialogue. I'll give you until, um, tomorrow night. <laughs> Midnight. Ooh. Or else. Or else. You real told her, boss. You gonna her up? No. No, we'll give her another day. Oh, what a generous soul. Go give me that nosy cop. What? My calluses can use a workout. Ah, Mouth heard it all. Good guy Mouth's on the case now, don't worry about it. After she lost keys, she left the club to Lucas. And mm -hmm. She would be proud to have a woman of your heart and talent working here at the cafe. Is it ca why? Why is it called a cafe? Is it, did they call places like this? Would it not just be club? I don't know. I don't know anything about the 1940s, so. Well, why don't you stop wondering and ask me sometime? Now. Nathan. Oh. Excuse me. What do you mean, Lucas, you cock block? Before you get in too deep. Oh. Military male. Oh, okay, fair enough. Couldn't have saved that to give him the day after. You're going to literally let him have one night of happiness and then be like, oh, okay, just so you know. Everything all right? How would you like to step out with me tonight? Yes, my guy. Sorry, but we're closed. I know. My car broke down. Mmm, right. So this is the start of a porno. I think I may come. Oh, you can take a word for it. Okay, well. I now kind of hope you do get mugged. <laughs> uh. A uh, little old engine like this, yeah, I can have this down in a jiffy. Yeah, all right, something like that. Wow. The advancements on these things are amazing, aren't they? How much you set you back? Oh, hundreds. Wow. Hundreds. Where do you live? That way. At least the music fits the scenes in this episode. <laughs> like, this, the music makes sense. Uh, did you just... Uh, you... You got me. I'm not sure how I feel about the war. I do oh, we're talking about the war now. And to leave home. Yep. What do you think? Could I be a good nurse? Yeah, I guess. Alright, good do conversationalist. You think I'm I think I'm pretty. I think I'm bloody pretty. It's a cock movie, aren't you? Well, you certainly don't talk very much, do you? Yeah, because he's a cool guy. Chad Michael Moore is cool. Look at him. Not really the gap. What do you have to do for uh, Why do you associate yourself with a guy like Dan? A guy like Dan never had a big weird. I know you said you wanted to talk. Now here I am walking you home against his wishes, I'm sure. Is this on a Matthew McConaughey now? What is... Your accent's changed five times, Chad. Make your mind up. You're a trinket. I'm cared for. Is that what you call? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, he's stepped in it, hasn't he? I don't like the guys Halfway through. We're over the hill. I need freedom. I, I need love. Oh, what? This is the. F <laughs> oh, God. It's so awkward. It's so awkward. All the actors just feel awkward. <laughs> when you asked me to step out with you tonight. Puff and pulled your hands and you know he's a mob in there. Yeah, what if this is the film, like it's done a time skip and they're all watching the film on the big screen? <laughs> you know it's getting a Paul Ron Tomato score. I want you to know that I wouldn't want to spend it with anyone but you. Well, you don't have any friends, Nathan, so that's not really hard to say, is it? Because I want to believe that it is. Why would it not be true? You... Who's Nathan going to hang out with in the 1940s? Got him. Is he alright? He's just dribbling on her. He's not really kissing her. I need something different, and you are the first thing I've laid eyes on that is. Chad Michael Murray. I've said too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are. You love my life. What? Girl from a small. <laughs> Earlier, you asked me if you were pretty. Oh, right, yeah. You, you are. Smooth criminal. This feels like an episode. If you were ever to watch One Tree Hill, you would skip. You would skip. There, and there are going to be comments, I swear, it's like, yeah, I skip this episode time, every time I watch Tree Hill. There's no way. Please? Or have a nightcap? Mm. Whatever you'd like. Mm. It'll be alright. Just shut up and do it. Shit up? <sighs> yeah, man. I thought he just took a dress off. I was like, bloody hell, mate, it's the middle of the night. Dan's going to be watching. 
in the bushes. <laughs> oh no, it's just Brooke. What? Is she alright? So I've got some spicy drama to share. I thought we'd well, come back. This must be the most romantic table ever reserved for me. He's gonna give her a bracelet, and eh? I got you a present. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. What? I am afraid of dying without you knowing how I feel about you. You're not going to die, Nathan Scott. <laughs> come home. <sighs> oh, Lord, save me. Just <laughs> 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 That hair has changed, I swear. Do you trust me? How about we don't go to the military and just run to... I don't know. Alabama. Is this mouth? Here we go, yeah. No, it's just... Oh my god, that's depressing, Dan. I thought you were some big boss and this is your little place where you eat. Information about Peyton. What kind of information? I actually want that baguette. That looks banging. You owe me money. You really don't have a choice. <gasps> what if I told you that your precious Peyton was sweet on Lucas Scott? And I don't think she heard you unless you told her it's okay to kiss him. Oh, you bloody butt. Get her out of here. <laughs> My dad's got impression, apparently. Oh, I want spaghetti and baguettes. Pretty ruthless. Ah. Maybe hope for you yet, Brooke Davis. Very ruthless. Then we're square. There's one more thing you're gonna do for me. You're gonna kill Lucas Scott. Can't wait to find out. No thanks. You know, you could be making a lot more money at the comic club. Yeah, we ain't gonna be bullying skills, I ain't happening. Then again, I wouldn't call a piano player with a broken hand just fine. <laughs> uh, no man! Ah, oh, yeah, see, I actually break it down. That's great. Now, the dove has always stood for peace and love. What you but for me, that dove has always stood for freedom. Okay. I should go. Shiver me timber, stay a while and timber, timber me shivers. No. no, I think I'll hold out to that nightcap. Nightcap? Wouldn't want a girl to look too needy. <laughs> Alright. How about that? No! You really take the pleasure out of this. Kind of reminds me of Keith Scott. When I killed him. Dun, dun, dun. Oh well. Wow, you're really not punching him. <laughs> ah, Mouth, your turn. I get bullied. Jesus Christ, how much has got left? You should have stuck to gossip columns instead of snooping around where you don't belong. <laughs> I forgot his feet in a bucket house, man. <laughs> gossip columns won't get you killed, kid. What is this? Get off me! <laughs> oh. All this time, I didn't want to believe that you were evil. You were you a liar. Oh, he's a liar. Oh. How's Lucas doing, whore? <laughs> he killed Lucas's uncle. <laughs> Yo, he said that with his chest. Go in the car. I'll go in. I think I was going to drown Mal. That'd be great. Best step. Come on. Drown him. Are we done? No. What are you thinking? <laughs> Why didn't they just end there? <laughs> Mal's body fought. We got married. <laughs> oh. Lucas is gonna come save the day, you know. Maybe I'll set you free. No. You're not I'm gonna cry anymore, not even for you. Really? Okay. And pretty soon no one else will either. And then they'll bring you down. Oh, I'd say if anyone's going down, it's you. Yeah, poor choice of words <laughs> on that one, Mouth. Good spit though. Be a friend and get that for me, will ya? <laughs> nice. Do it! <laughs> oh my god! That last drink's on me. <laughs> Boss Peyton's gone. <gasps> That's amazing! It's the best I've ever. <laughs> they just literally. <laughs> they have Mal. They're gonna kill him. Oh, he's already what? dead. Don't worry about they it. They found out that Dan killed Keith. Look, I didn't know. I'm sorry. There's no way they save him. I'm sorry. 
Luke, what are you doing? Unless he could hold his breath for 20 minutes. Luke, we can be free. We can leave. Okay, Luke's just rolling up. <laughs> Luke's is rolling up with his whatever gun that is. There we go. It's about to go down. Yeah, right. This is intense, isn't it? <laughs> oh, how long? How long? Can you tell me, like, four minutes? Yeah, pretty much. Four minutes. We can do this, guys. It's the final hours. Wow. Some blood. You shot me! Not even I shoot a man in the back, Lucas. Okay, Actually, that's not book true. Element. I shot several men in the back. Most of them deserved it. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend you do it. Uh, I have a surprise for you. This mouth's head. It can't be. Got him. <laughs> Gave up instantly. <laughs> But yeah, you're all fast. Okay, Miss Davis, finish your job, and your debt is clear. What's the job? Oh, yeah, she had something to do. Sorry, Luke. Oh, she's gonna shoot Dan. You don't have to do this. Yeah, you tell him. Yes, I do. She's gonna shoot Dan. I should have done this a long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, no. Yeah. That classic. I thought so. Women. <laughs> you women? <laughs> what? <laughs> This was the real gun. <laughs> and we got skills here. Do it, Lucas! <laughs> Slow motion. Oh no, he's giving up. Okay. What is going. <sighs> okay, I'm good, I'm good. Ah, uh, Payne got shot. When, when did that bullet go off? I'm assuming when Dan got rugby tackled. Come on, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I dreamed of the stars and I saw them, and now I'm going to join them. Something like that. Okay, just that. Chad Michael Murray writing that down, tears dripping onto the paper. Ah, do that, Lucas. Why, oh, God, have you cursed me? That might have been the best death scene I've ever seen. I'm coming back to you, Haley. I'm coming back, yeah. and I'm coming it's back with it. glory. As long as you wait for me, it is. Yeah, well, Nathan's gonna I'll die then. He's gonna get shot with a Gatling gun. Wait forever. You'll wait forever. You hooked up, ah, uh, yes, the tip of the leg. <laughs> best day of my life. It's probably the first time he got laid, mate. So I don't know. It was surprised. Do it. Scream up to the sky, Chad Michael Murray. And what if this is foreshadowing? It, that'd be kind of cool if this whole lap's foreshadowing. <laughs> Mouth drowns. Payton dies. And Nathan um, joins the army, I guess. You're free now, Payton. Oh my god. You know, you know uh, Hillary Burns trying not to cringe. <laughs> She's like, let's just close my eyes and it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. We're back. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know that. Oh, I can breathe. I can breathe. Hi, did I wake you up? A whole uh, dream episode. I just had the craziest dream. <laughs> yeah, a whole dream episode. You know I'll I, tell you about it when you get home. Love my dream episodes. Okay. Don't ever leave me. Okay. Okay. You left her. What are you uh, all about? I. Are you? Oh, is she? Oh, is she? Uh, what happened? What do you is, say? Is she, say no, she's say pregnant. Say. I don't think that's how you act if you're pregnant. Has she got the shits? I don't know. It was foreshadowing after all. She's gonna be fine. Um, all right, there we go, guys. That is episode eleven of One Tree Hill season six. If you want to call it an episode, uh, I just want to see what this got on track. If this has higher than one percent, <laughs> maybe not, maybe not one percent, but uh. Where is it? Yeah, th the best part of this episode was Mouth dying. That was the best scene I've ever seen in my life. We've all been... Even the writers knew. They were, even Chad Michael Murray, when he's writing this episode, was like, yeah, Mouth, mouth got to go. 73%. That is very low. That's one of the lowest rated One Tree Hill episodes. So, okay, each to their own, as I say. But top comment, favourite episode. I love it so much. And they gave it a 10 out of 10. Um... <laughs> 
and they last watched Pretty Little Liars original sin. Wanted to give wanted to give Pretty Little Liars. I bet they gave it an eight. Yep. They did. <laughs> they gave episodes one, two, and three an eight, and season one is Pretty Little Liars an eight. And they gave every season of Game of Thrones a ten. Yeah, that's that makes sense. And then they gave Leon the Professional a seven. <laughs> They gave this episode a 10 and then gave Leon the Professional a 7 and Kill Bill an 8. And then Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore a 9. I love that. Yeah, I kind of respect it. <laughs> and then they gave Bridget Jones a 1. <laughs> Yo, this is the... Who is this person? I love these ratings. Oh my god, what else we got? Bruce Almighty a 6. Bohemian Rhapsody an 8. Venom a 9. La La Land a 3. A 3. Oh. <laughs> what else we got here? The Meg a 10. They gave The Meg, the film about a shark, a 10. And then Jumanji a 9. Mean Girls 2. Mean Girls 2 a 9. Every episode of Squid Game's got a 10. Every episode of You's got a 10. The third Hobbit film got a 9. And then they gave every episode of the recent... The recent season of Elite, they gave every episode a 10 to. Alright, I need to get off before I shoot myself in the face. Um, <laughs> I've never seen ratings like that in my life. But, in all seriousness, this episode, best parts about it was Hail is singing and Mouth dying. And then everything else... Uh, then I just put why though I just put why because why I don't like dream sequences and this was a dream sequence with a bit of foreshadowing in there and mouth drowning oh uh, yeah the app's getting a two I'm not going to give it a one simply because there were actually some funny <laughs> funny moments but so I'm not going to give it a one I've got to be fair I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's one... Like, one out of ten to me is, like, the worst possible thing you can ever conceive being born into an episode. Uh, this did have a few... Like, Paul Johansson was going for it, and it made, made me laugh. Um, mouth drowning, Haley singing. Yeah, that's it. But everyone felt really awkward this episode. No one... Chad Michael Murray was loving every second of this. You know he was. Everyone else was cringing. You could see it. You could. They were cringing. Um, so that's great. I don't know what else to say about this episode, really. I don't. I just don't like dream sequences. So I'm going to go a two out of ten for this one. Not quite a one. I can't be that harsh against it. So I'm, I'm being kind of fair, surely. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I need to eat. I feel like this has drained all my energy. You know, when you feel so deflated that you're like, I need food. Um, that's basically where my mindset is at now. So. I didn't feel like that before this episode. To just put into context, I just did the finale of The Vampire Diaries Season 3. And that was a 9 out of 10. So to go from a 9 out of 10 to a 2 out of 10 is not a common occurrence. We'll put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, until next time guys, take care. Peace.